Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to make this top. You will be needing 3.5mm crochet hook, measuring tab, a scissor, yarn, I use white yarn approximately 50 gram, and multicolor yarn, you can choose any color you like. Now check your gauge first, 15 DC equal to 2.5 by 0.5 inch, you can use any hook size to obtain the gauge. Now let's get started. First, you just begin with a slip knot and chain 4. You can also start with a magic circle. And you just make 10 DC in the very first chain stitch. When you have finished, just slip stitch in top of the chain 4 and you should have a total of 11 double crochet. Now join with a new yarn color, slip stitch in the next stitch, chain 3 and then do double crochet in the same stitch and you are going to do two double crochet in each of the stitches around. Slip stitch and top of chain 3. The chain 3 will be counted as your first double crochet. You should have a total of 22 DC. Now change color again. Like the previous method, you just slip stitch in the next stitch chain 3 that will, that will be counted as your first DC and you make double crochet in the same stitch and two double crochet in each of the stitches around. When you have finished round 3, you should have a total of 44 double crochet and we are going to change color again. The next color I'm going to use is white which is the color of my whole top. You can choose any color you like but I am going to use white for this top. In this round, we are going to form the square. So you just chain 3. This will be counted as your first DC. And make 2 double crochet in the same stitch. Skip the next stitch and make three double crochet in the next stitch and you just have to repeat this pattern again twice
and now you are going to skip the next stitch and make 3 treble crochet in the next stitch then you have to chain 2 and make another 3 treble crochet in the very next stitch do not skip any stitch and you just repeat this pattern again to form the square After the last triple crochet, you just skip the next stitch and slip stitch in top of the chain 3, chain 1, and single crochet in each of the stitches around. And make 2 single crochet in the 2 chain space. And just continue to single crochet in each of the stitches around. And now we are finished with our first square. Just slip stitch in the first chain one, make another chain, and just fasten off and weave in the ends. Make another three of these squares, and now we are going to join the squares together. And this is how I join my square. You can use any other method that you prefer. You can use the slip stitch, uh, you can even use needle and join the squares with a whip stitch. This is how I join my square. I'm just gonna align the square side by side like this. And I'm going to insert my hook in the second stitch of the two single crochet in the two chain space. Now insert your yarn and just tie it into a knot.
then I'm going to insert my hook into the next stitch make a loop with your finger pull your yarn to the other side and pull it back into the loop and this is how I attach my squares together and just have to repeat the steps over and over again until you have finished attaching your squares together When you have finished attaching all your squares together, just put it aside and now we are going to make the rock hop. Just make a slip knot and chain 17. And now double crochet in the fourth chain from hook and in each of the stitches across and when you reach the last chain you make three double crochet and then you chain two and make three double crochet again in the same chain stitch Now after row 1, you are going to turn your work and chain 3, this will be counted as your first DC 
and just double crochet in each of the stitches across and when you reach the 2 chain space make 2 double crochet chain 2 and 2 double crochet in the same space For row 3 to 10, you just repeat the previous pattern to expand the cup. When you have finished your last row, just chain 1 and fasten off. Now I'm going to cut about an inch of yarn. I'm going to use this to join the cups later on. Then I'm going to put this aside first. So just continue to make another cup. But when you have finished, just you don't have to cut off the yarn. I'm going to join 12 stitches to attach my cups together. Like I said before, you can use any other method you prefer. You can use slip stitch or whip stitch, but this is how I'm going to join my two cups together today. Next, we are going to continue to make the edging and the string. So, what you have to do is you have to chain one and skip the next stitch, and you make two double crochet, chain two, and two double crochet again in the same stitch. Then you are going to skip the next stitch and make single crochet in the next stitch. 
and you just repeat this pattern again seven times And now skip the next two stitches and make two double crochet in the two chain space. And we're going to continue to make the string just chain 100 or as long as you want. And single crochet in the second chain from hook and across and when you reach the two chain space make two double crochet again Skip the neck two stitches and just make the edging again like the previous pattern. When you reach the middle of the bra, just make single crochet in the next three stitches and just continue to make the edging and string like the previous cup. Now when you have finished to make the edging and shrink, we are going to continue at the bottom part. Just make two single crochet in each of the double crochet spaces across. When you have finished, just chain one and fasten on. Next, you are going to attach the squares with the bra.
Now we are going to make the side strap. Just join your yarn, chain 3. This will count as your first DC. Double crochet in the next stitch. And you are going to skip the next stitch. And double crochet in the next stitch. Chain 1 and then skip the next stitch and double crochet in the next stitch. So just repeat this pattern across. Now when you have 3 stitches left, just skip the next stitch and make double crochet in the last 2 stitches and then you are going to turn your work. Now for the second row, you are going to chain 3, double crochet in the next stitch, skip the next stitch and double crochet into the one chain space, chain one, and level crochet into the one chain space, and just repeat this pattern across. And you are going to continue with the pattern until you reach row 9. For row 10, you are going to chain 3 and we are going to make 2 double crochet together and we make 2 stitches. Double crochet in the next stitch and turn your work. Continue to make this ring, just chain 100 and then single crochet in the second chain from hook and cross. And when you have finished, you are going to slip stitch in the next stitch, chain 1 and just fasten off. Just repeat the whole pattern for the other side.
now we are basically done with top now but I'm going to add edging at the bottom part of this top you can also make the edging if you want but if you don't want to just take this part I'm going to join the yarn in the double crochet space I'm going to tie a knot and then I'm going to chain one skip the next stitch and make two double crochet chain two and two double crochet in the next stitch so this is basically the same with the edging along your bra cup and then I'm going to skip the next two stitches and double crochet in the next stitch then I'm going to skip the next two stitches and repeat the pattern again When you reach the part where the two squares were joined together, we are going to skip the next stitch and make double crochet in the stitch where the squares were joined together. And then you just skip the next stitch and just continue with the pattern. Finally, just slip stitch in the double crochet space, chain one, and fasten off and just weave all ends. So we are done with our crop top. This is how I make the crop top. You can simply modify the pattern to your liking. And I hope my explanation are clear enough for you to understand this tutorial. If you don't understand any part of this pattern, just simply comment below. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorial like this. Bye bye!